enough, close enough. Great bucket horse. Two shoes wild. How many times has this Pete Car bucket horse been to the NFR? As many times as we've got loops on the pair of teams. Watch it. It's in the honey hole. Hey y'all, I'm Kendall Ponce here with Jake Finlay, who just scored an 81.5 in the Saddle Bronc riding competition, now putting him in 10th place for the short go tomorrow. How do you feel your ride went tonight? Uh, yeah, it was really good. I've been waiting to have a rematch at that horse for a while. I had a bit of bad luck on him there in Guyman, Oklahoma last year, and uh, I saw my name beside him, and I've been waiting to come to Angelo for two weeks to get on him. Uh, really good. So that's a little bit of a rivalry, but now you did your part and you're on to the finals. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us, where are you from originally? I'm from Gundawindi, Queensland. It's uh, in the southeast corner of Queensland. And uh, yeah, I grew up there all my life and come over to the States four years ago. Come to college over here at Panhandle State University under the guidance of Craig Latham and Robert Etbauer. And yeah, now, now I'm here. So what got you started doing saddle bronc riding all the way from Australia? It's not really a common thing most people would think of. They think of Texas and the South. Mm -hmm. So what really got you started in that? Uh, like rodeos, it's big back home. It's not as big as what it is over here. I had a lot of buddies that, that rodeoed back home and we just all grew up riding steers and a few bulls and then progressed to the bronc riding. Oklahoma Panhandle, so what exactly, you threw a few names in there, how did they get you there and what brought you uh, specifically to that college? Um, I come over on the Australian high school team to the national high school finals in Rock Springs, Wyoming and uh, Craig Latham found me there, he recruited me recruited me my freshman year in high school and grew me up to, to come over and yeah it's been it's been a blast ever since. Any what's like the biggest change you think coming from Australia to the United States like biggest thing to get accustomed to that really was just like wow. <laughs> uh, apart from driving on the other side of the road it would have to be the it would have to be the bucking horses. You, the, the bucking horses over here are so much better than back home it's just a whole nother level of rodeo and it's so much more professional over here than what it is back home. And what, did you, what are you majoring in there? Uh, any further plans with your degree? Or are you just trying to rodeo? Um, I'm just uh, I'm an animal science major right now. I'll take my master's in nutrition here next year and, and uh, stay at school for a little while longer. And, and then after that, I'll just stay over and keep rodeo. Great. And what's your next rodeo after San Angelo? Obviously, you're going to compete tomorrow. And then where do you go after that? Um, after the finals tomorrow, we've got to get in the truck and drive all the way to Manhattan, Kansas for K-State University's college rodeo. So we've got some driving to do. Awesome. Well, congratulations. I'm Kendall Ponce once again. Uh, keep checking in with us for more updates on the rodeo. And this is the 10th showing tonight. You can watch Mr. Finlay again tomorrow as he competes.